When you're ready to pick up your microscope, use two hands. These are very expensive and you don't want to drop them. Then when you set your microscope down, you don't want to slide it across the table because doing so is going to create vibrations which could break it. Go ahead and take your dust cover off and then break out your electric cord and go ahead and plug it in but do not turn it on. Make sure that the switch is in the off position so it has the O side is clipped. Once you have your microscope plugged in you're ready to set it up before you turn it on. You do not want to turn it on if it's not set up especially if the rheostat is turned all the way up high on say five. If the rheostat is turned all the way up and then you turn on the microscope it could burn out the bulb. So the first thing you do is make sure the rheostat is turned all the way down to the lowest setting. In this case one. You want to make sure that the stage is all the way down. You're going to use the course adjust to lower the stage down gently. Do not force the stage down any further than it allows. Then you need to look at the other side of your microscope at the condenser knob right here. You need to make sure that the condenser is all the way up and then slightly backed off just a hair. The condenser looks at your focus for your depth perception. Next, you need to make sure that the light source is turned all the way open. You see this wheel down here. You want it to be all the way open, which is clockwise. That's going to allow the maximum amount of light in. Then, you need to make sure that the condenser iris is all the way open as well. This is the little toggle switch right here. And you want to put it on the biggest number, which in this case, is 1.25. Now you're ready to turn on your microscope. Go ahead and switch the power button so that the one is clicked on. Now you're going to turn your rheostat up to about three and a half. By turning it on with the rheostat all the way down at first, it allowed the bulb to warm up before we turned it up to three and a half. Then you're going to turn to your lowest objective. Do so by rotating the objectives here until they click into place. Do not grab the objectives themselves, but instead use the rubber turn knob. Then you're ready to put your slide in. Grab your slide on the side being careful because they are glass. Then open the slide holder and gently push your slide into the back of the microscope. Slowly let the slide holder close. If you just let the slide holder go, it may slam against the slide and then crack the glass. Once you have your slide on, then you need to use the stage control to adjust the slide position so that the light is shining directly through your specimen. Center it as much as possible. Now you need to set your eyepieces to your facial dimensions. The first thing you can do is flip up the outside ring on the eyepiece. This provides like a little buffer zone between, say, your glasses and the microscope. When you're looking through the microscope, if the eyepieces are set too far apart, you're going to see two separate circles in your field of view. Slowly press the eyepieces together until these circles begin to overlap. And in the end, you're going to have one circle 
for your field of view. When you only see one circle, then the eyepieces are correctly adjusted. Now that the eyepieces are set for your facial dimensions, we're going to look through and see if we can bring our specimen into focus. Do so by using the course adjust and raising the platform up while looking through your microscope. However, you're going to close your left eye as you do this. So only look through the microscope with your right eye. Then slowly bring the base up until it looks in focus through your right eye. So now I can see some small dots of my specimen. Then you're going to use your fine focus, this smaller knob here, to adjust it even further. Again, only looking through with your right eye. Move the fine focus back and forth until you determine the most clear picture. Now that the microscope is adjusted, you can adjust the eyepiece. So now you're going to open up your left eye and close your right eye and then adjust the microscope for your eyes. Start out by lining the zero up to this very small black line on the microscope. Then looking through only your left eye, look at the microscope picture and slowly adjust the focus on the optical eyepiece. When it looks correct, then you can come back and notice I am about one hashtag above zero. Now the microscope is in focus and adjusted for your dimensions. When you're ready to increase magnification on your specimen, make sure that it is completely in focus before you increase on the objective. Then the second thing is to make sure that when you're looking through your microscope that the specimen is exactly in the center. Then you can rotate to the next highest objective. Now look through and use only the fine adjust to bring the specimen into focus. When you're ready to increase magnification again, make sure the specimen is in the middle and then rotate up to the next magnification using only the fine focus to bring your specimen into focus. If for any reason you're having trouble, just start over. Go back to the lowest objective Lower your stage all the way down and begin the focusing process from the beginning. When you're finished looking at your specimen and you're ready to put the microscope away, make sure to follow basically the setup procedure in reverse. That way the next person who goes to use your microscope doesn't have to fiddle with it a bunch. So lower your stage all the way down to the bottom. Gently remove your slide and make sure the rheostat is turned all the way down to the lowest setting. You can also flip back the eye protectors if you use them. Now you can turn your microscope off. And make sure also that you have the lowest objective clicked. You do not want to store it on a high objective because that risks more damage. So either click it on the lowest objective or if there's a hole where an objective is missing, that would be even better because it will protect the rest of the objectives behind. When you've finished using your microscope, if it got dirty, 
Or maybe you pulled out your microscope and somebody else didn't clean it up and so it's messy for you. There's specific things you need to know when cleaning either the slide or the microscope. The first thing is that you only use lens paper. This is going to prevent scratching of any glass, just like you use something special to clean your glasses. Do not use chem wipes. These will scratch the glass. Also, do not use paper towels to clean the microscopes or the slides. Again, this will scratch the glass. When you're using your lens paper to clean your microscope or slides, the solution you want to clean with is ethyl alcohol. This will prevent any streaks left behind. Once you have applied your solution of 100% ethyl alcohol on your lens paper, then gently wipe the objective and or your microscope slide. Then you can take a clean piece of dry lens paper and remove any traces of the ethyl alcohol. Don't worry if you feel like you haven't gotten the hang of using a microscope after the first day. It's a technical tool, but once you master it, it's going to improve all of your studies. Enjoy the new world under the microscope lens.